All right, we're back. We have the vocalist, the front man of the group, the Lucid. Welcome, Vinny Dombrowski. Vinny, welcome. Should I change to look different? Hey, we're <laughs> wearing a lot of hats here, man. I love your your spirit. You know, um, t- tell us how David Ellison of uh, you know, formerly of Megadeth, and so such a entrepreneur himself, um, yes. and uh, your guitarist Drew. For today, uh, how did they uh, uh, approach you? How did you find out about this potential project, The Lucid? How did it all come together? I just got an email from Drew um, back in uh, what was it, 2020, 2019, maybe, about uh, um, they were interested in, ha- and they, I didn't know who they were at the time, but interested in having me sing on some stuff. And, um, I was like, well, send me some demos. And then uh, an email came back, which was like, well, it sounds too much like one of the songs off your second album. And I'm like, uh, send me the stuff anyway. So they sent me the stuff, uh, some kind of raw demos. And uh, I started kicking around uh, some of the vocals, uh, some of the ideas for vocals. And um, at that point, um, I understood that uh, Mike Haller was in the band and uh, David Ellison. And I go, well, that's cool. And uh, the boys started sending me more demos that I would sing on and send them those vocal tracks back. So, and being, you know, the, the beginning of the pandemic, it was kind of a perfect time to really focus on a lot of music, which we did. So, they started cutting uh, keeper uh, bed tracks, and then I would record keeper vocals, and everybody was working remotely. Yeah, well, you guys have developed a, a, a great sound. You got a a broad palette to work with with everybody's, um, you know, skills. Man, we're hearing elements of uh, obviously thrash and pop and rock and funk and hip hop and you know all all of that in there. Yep. Now, um, it brings us to the single Saddle Up and Ride, featuring the mm-hmm. one and only Violent mm-hmm. J of the Insane Clown Posse, another <laughs> Detroit homie. Um, how far back do you go? Uh, what's the relationship with uh, Violent J from? Well, they were doing a radio show many years ago. And uh, I've always been aware of what they've been up to. And me being from Detroit, uh, they uh, knew what was going on with Sponge, and um, they had me on the radio show many years ago. Um, we have not played the gathering yet, but I was uh, invited to do a Christmas thing that they were doing at El Club, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before that. So um, I guess I've been on their radar, and they've certainly been on uh, my radar. Um, they're a juggernaut, you know what I mean, uh, of... Um, great music uh, and great musical and and professional choices <laughs> yeah well, that. i i think you know the two voices blend well together i was i was waiting for violent j to stand out you know in, in this icp kind of sound and yeah it's him but you know how you guys uh, mixed it produced it there's you, you know th- there's a, a blending i think uh, of the voices where it's not so radical like you know sun and and dark it it really i mean the song is is hard is heavy but um it really you know works and i understand he's also on the vocals for sweet tooth and that's t-o-o-f yeah, tooth. on on the ep yeah how did uh how did you decide once you cut one or did you just keep it going or did he suggest let's do some more or how well, it seemed like a no-brainer for uh, Violent J to get involved on Sweet Tooth. Um, and, and it all started on the most recent ICP full album release. Violent J hit me up, uh, this is probably a couple years ago, about singing uh, on this track on their most current record. It was, it's a track called Heart and Soul by Tapau. And um, talking to uh, Violent J about it he was like let's rewrite 
all the lyrics. Let's make this song be like, you know, it's about, you know, overcoming and um, getting what you want out of life. And um, he rewrote all the verses and I rewrote the chorus and um, and sang the chorus and he rewrote and sang the verses. Similar thing happened with Sweet Tooth. And I, the big thing is like you trust somebody, you trust the instincts of Violent J so much. You go do what you want, write what you want, and let's see where this goes. And so Sweet Tooth, that was an epic by Faith No More, which is now Sweet Tooth. The chorus was rewritten, and um, and uh, I sang the chorus. So it's just kind of a cool thing. It's uh, basically let's just do something cool, not necessarily know where it's going to end up, and let it uh, let it let it happen. And that's what went down. And I think both songs turned out just fantastic as well. The the Pow uh, song turned out uh, fantastic as well. But that's been the thing with the Lucid, though. The, you know, the guys play what they want to play. They do what they want to do. And uh, there's certainly some direction on occasion uh, from Mike Heller, who's been wearing the producer hat for this thing. And I'll listen to what Mike says. I'll give him what he needs. But they... They let me have the freedom to write what I think I need to write. So that's cool. Well, congratulations on taking a chance. I think the Lucid is an awesome project for you guys. And Saddle Up and Ride is the title of the EP. And an, another, you know, Detroit boy, man, coming out of the home of Motown and Seeger and Kid Rock, Nugent and Eminem and, you know, Grand Funk and ICP, man. Vinny, it's been a real pleasure, man. We're going to get the word out on the Lucid. Look forward to seeing you back in California sometime soon. And please, man, keep it rocking forever. Oh, thank you, Jay. Good to talk to you.